sometimes can feel a pressure yeah but i always tell myself that my time will come for me to shine you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying everyone has their time yeah so your first love because for sure you found your first love there right hi <laughs> 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 Your people want to know. They want to know who number. Who's the lagan? Hi. 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 Who heard it? Them fun. Bifia piano is different. So it, it's it's a thing of we'll have an argument about something or conflict about something, but as time goes on, it's resolved. It's like I said, really sharp, which one? You know, it's I, like I do the one. Oh, what up, guys? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are great. Welcome to What's Popping Worldwide. You know, it's a voice that Piri. My friend, I got to rap Piri. I'm not feeling good. 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 I'm But otherwise, guys, I hope you guys are nice. You know, I hope you guys are delicious. I'm not feeling good. 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 Young Todd. <laughs> But otherwise, <laughs> how are you good? How are you uh, good, my bro? Nah, bro. I'm good, nice, I'm dog. good, I'm good. Ah, thanks for coming, dog. Yo. Hey, I didn't man. know that you look like this, eh? Cause, like, What you mean? Because, like, you know, guys, you guys hardly don't do content. Like, um, I don't see producers of a piano but share content, kapai. Like, in your feet, dog. Yeah, that's true, yo. Yeah. So it's yeah, a pretty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's true. Yeah. But how are you feeling, dog? No, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Mm, I see love God. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but I don't know. Should we start there? But I know. Uh, we can there. start there. Anyway, you want to start, bro. I feel, I feel, I feel. Start, okay, yeah. so tell us, how was your day today? I've been spun as always. I was in the studio. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, I had to come here. I was working on, already working on a second EP. Probably around June. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so how's the creative process? Let's speak about something. Your creative process? Yeah. Most of the time, I like to... I want to I wanna create a space where everyone feels free. You know what I'm saying? Instead of we go into studio and we're working now. I want everyone to feel comfortable, you know. We'll play music. Mm-hmm. We'll play games. We'll just chill, you know. Yeah, create yeah. that type of environment Bendy where everyone, that. yeah, everyone <laughs> yeah, feels yeah. comfortable sure, yeah. and everyone can be themselves. And then, yeah, at some point, then you know, I'll maybe start a project. One of the guys that I work with will start a project. Basically, mm-hmm. Aspana, you know, because everyone is very creative in that moment. I don't want anyone to go to studio with me and think. It's work. It is work, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. don't think of it like a nine to five. Meaning, we'll get any. Sure. In case no cash planning, cannot officing. You know, thing. yeah, no. Yeah. I want it to be fun for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, how did you get into music? Making music, for example. Yeah. Um, my parents bought me my first instrument, piano. Oh yeah. Yeah, in grade one, mm. and then I went for lessons. I stopped at some point. I went back, mm-hmm. and then in around around about 2015, I started rapping. A rapper? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I'm interested. Uh, yeah, yeah. I started, <laughs> yeah. I started rapping. Yeah. And then, at that time, obviously, I didn't have money to get beats and mm-hmm. whatnot. Mm-hmm. Whenever you wanted a beat. Big metal thing, eh? Or the, wherever you know, yeah. someone would say, "Or buy some repeat, you buy them." Oh, but, uh, yeah. yeah, but I mean, money wasn't there, so I decided, you know what? Why not start producing and make my own hip hop beats? Because I know what type of beats I want, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's what I started doing. I got my laptop, grade eight, twenty sixteen. Mm-hmm. Um, I started producing. I started learning how to produce hip hop. I recorded a few tracks. Yeah. yeah. So, and can you throw a 
<laughs> hey, young one, young, young Ah, uh, you're on the spot. Thing. No, that's you. Maybe Why? old raps. You're old raps. Yeah, it could be old raps. Ah, uh, you're on the spot. Hey, on the yeah, reply shy. Reply shy. Let me finish the story. Yeah, so, I feel, I feel. Yeah. um, got my laptop. I started producing hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, then I. Switch to other genres like D45, the slow jam, or yeah. house music. Yeah, 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 that type yeah, yeah. of vibe. Because another thing I looked at is that a lot of people are now moving into the hip hop space. Everyone wants to become a rapper. Everyone wants to, you know. So I was like, I hope I had a. Let me find something different, you know. Mm-hmm. That's when I started branching out into these different genres. And that's when. I'm a piano is starting to rise, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, this genre is nice. Let me try it, you know. And then that's when I started around 2017, I started doing piano, yilida, mm. and doing all these other genres, you know, mm. selling beats to people so I can make my own studio, mm. record my stuff, you know. Mm. And then, yeah, 2019. 2018, 2019, I released my one of my first projects, a piano. Okay. And then 2020. Title? Uh, piano Bass Experience. There's Piano Bass Experience, yeah. which is like an album. I can't remember how many tracks. Then Nonally Keep It Locked, Volume 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then there was also Nomoro Kenamba. Those are the three. Yeah, right? yeah. I think I knew the Nomoroki now. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Most people knew that one. Yeah. Um, and then I discovered, I don't know if you know Mzu M. He sings on, what's the song? Mapula. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you discovered him? No, no, no. Like, I, 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 I met him through Instagram. Oh. And I was like, yo, this guy is dope. I want to work with him. You know, I DM'd him. We started chatting. We recorded our first song ever, which is still not out today. <laughs> hey, like but, my life always. Ah, so certain things are say, but some say you do the go safe thing. I did it to you, you know. Ah, let us ever produces like that. Though. Ah, but there's so many songs, though. Like too many songs. Did you wanna add you? Yeah, can I ask? Well, I don't get it. Why do you like guys, especially producers or artists? Why do you always like lock away some songs? Because as fans, like for instance, Ricky Rick's Kushanga post, <laughs> we still haven't heard. And that one is a personal one. And <laughs> y'all do snippets and everything. Yeah. Like, how does that decision get made to say, okay, this one is for the sake? Mm-hmm. There's so many songs made within a day. Tolori, I've probably produce 20 songs in one day. Have you done that? Yeah. Yo! Yeah. Many songs in a day, dog. In a day, yeah. Tolo Rushaile Pizza, 20 complete songs. <laughs> but obviously when you release a song, it's like there needs to be planning. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so right. no, no, when it's 20 in one day, there's seven days in a week. <laughs> You're in studio every day. How many songs is there? And now you have to like plan each drop. So some of them is like, okay, I this one is not the one for now. You know what I'm saying? Tolori, the vibe is we we can't release a soulful song now mm-hmm. in December. It's like now we're partying yeah, type yeah. of vibe. So we yeah. upload. Yeah. Some of the other songs you even forget the thing. That, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So picking for me, my process picking songs for an EP, it's mm-hmm. like, does this match what I'm trying to release now with the idea that I have? Mm-hmm. If it doesn't fit with the idea that I have, mm-hmm. then I upload. I'd rather fit. give it to someone else. Yeah, but I feel I feel like really <laughs> fair. Let, let, let me take your bit back. Let me take your bit back. Yeah. So I wanna know, um, since obviously you started very like, hip hop and stuff, mm-hmm. like um what type of kid were you? Like were you an introvert or were you an outgoing kid? I was never an outgoing kid. I'm yeah. a shy person by nature. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. shy, oh. stayed in the house. Oh, so it's, it's a shell you are. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> ah, yeah, because 
I got personality I got really. Tell me like like my dad is an extrovert. Like he's mm. an outgoing person, speaks to people. Mm. My mom is quiet. We do like on to you know. So I took her side. Yeah, you know, to be quiet and stay at home and what not. But I had a conversation with myself around 2018 when I started gigging for the first time. Mm. Where I was like this is what you love doing. You love DJing, you love producing, you know. Yeah. You love playing your instruments. Um so you have to be an outgoing, okay. outspoken yes. person, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I can't be getot, I'm quiet, but mm-hmm. I'm doing this thing because this career needs someone who's really loud, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Someone who's always advertising themselves, going out speaking to people yeah, networking yeah, yeah. yeah network so um in high school did you always picture yourself being a dj or producer or do you like was it something that you never thought about i want to know i'm still rapping yeah i pictured myself performing on stages i'd chill in my room get perform a kill you and sure 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 um even even a uh, Yeah, grade 8, grade 9, pictured myself performing on stages Kiliwane. And then as time went on, I was like I want to start DJ, you know. And then what, I what, used to What made that decision? Yeah, DJ. Yeah. Cuz that's a huge I've always on, yeah, I've always wanted to perform. Mm. It was just I want to do something, but now I'm not I'm not doing hip hop anymore. I'm doing house. I'm doing I'm a piano, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I can't really perform like rap on stage rap Kesha on piano and so sure, sure. so the next thing was DJ and okay now I'm a DJ and play music for people and you know just enjoy the energy and the vibe around the room you know who do you listen to growing up at that time yo everybody okay let's talk about hip hop hip hop hip hop Kendrick Lamar Ay- Kendrick Lamar always I hey man If it's not Kendrick uh, then I don't ah. know who else bro. I mean I do have my other favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. um artists but number one Kendrick. Kendrick mm. always been yeah. Mm, so you started listening to Kendrick always uh, been. And then and then the switch happened when my best friend Narata di Slow Jam the 45 comes to me ba, and is ba, ba. Yeah, yeah, sorry to disturb. I just want to ask what's your Like, what do you think about the beef going on in the hip hop space between the big three? I missed that question, <laughs> but I no, think. I it. Yeah. Ah, jo. Ish. Personally, me, I'm not a person who likes beef and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um, you eat beef, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I what I think about it, ah, jo. Let like they're doing what. Whatever they want to do. Personally, I people have been asking me, do you think Kendrick is gonna do anything? Respond, I don't think he would, because of he's a reserved person. He's quiet. He's not like always out there showing what he's doing and what not. You know what I'm saying? So Vale and Nadi I I don't I don't support them. Just do your thing. Mm-hmm. Focus on what you're doing. Why do now do you want to battle all alone now? Yeah. Over, ah, come on, bro. We're in two different spaces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. In, in the I'm a piano space. Do you think there's beefs there in the current like industry? Because we know in hip hop, it's like a yeah. hip hop thing. But yeah. like with you guys, like as producers and musicians and vocalists, is there beef in that type of space? Beef your piano is different. So it, it's it's a thing of well have an argument about something or conflict about something but as time goes on it's resolved it's like us a really sharp you know it's like I, 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 I do one I mean you saw it Zuma and Reese as it solved uh okay so can they boni in luna no but like a capella they were they, they were clashing at some point we were hearing that they were clashing yeah, at some point it was on the internet yeah that's crazy so you don't know anything about that I mean, dog, just because they're separated it doesn't mean like, you know, they don't chat or they're too grand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So, okay, let's move into like tertiary. How did you balance um, your school career and your music career? But firstly, I want you to answer this. Like, what, what did you study for? Yeah, what did you go to school for? Tertiary. What you mean? Did I, what, what did what did I, so so uh, university? What yeah, did yeah, I wanna? Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, I I had an idea. I wanted to do actuarial sciences, mm-hmm. and then. Was he smart? Aye, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nearly such a slave. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. what I wanted to do at some point, but. At some point, I got to where I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was like, yo, get to it. But I've always been a business-minded kid. So I decided, let me do become business management. Okay. So that's what I'm doing currently. You're actually doing it now? Yeah, I'm still... I'm so still you're counting it. numbers and you're making numbers? <laughs> 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 okay. I <laughs> okay. so play on words. It's crazy. I did. Okay. It's crazy. I it's here. crazy. Here. No, you should. Nothing. Man. No, no, yeah. I was. I was a rapper. Uh, I mean. I yeah, I didn't know when I saw Troopy 16. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's asking me. My it's my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> but then, um, yeah, like for me, I, I, I obviously stopped because like podcasting just took me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like with you, music just <laughs> yeah, 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 and you have, and you basically didn't have a choice by then. But other than that, um, how did you like navigate yourself um, to where you are right now, music wise? What would you say was your big move that you made? Yo, my big move was my birthday, twenty mm. twenty. Uh, my mom asked me Ricky Watlang for my birthday and I was like, just give me money, I wanna go to studio. Mm. You know, I used that money to go to at the time it was known as the Jazzy Disciples Studio. Guy, I go Alex, you know, um I recorded which was the first song? Ulazi. Mm-hmm. The first song, yeah, I got to studio. <laughs> no, because sure. my cheetah never bought a beat. They wanted a beat, and I was yeah, like, yeah. yo, Rafet, I don't know what beat I want to give you. My Rafet, I gave them that. I'm like, I, Zaman, and everyone went crazy. But Racho, we like, this is this is proper. And I was doubting myself. I was like, yo, mm-hmm. I'm in studio, Elbow Racy, mm-hmm. Elbow Man, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I gave them that beat by recorder, and from there it was just up. And then I think two, three days later, I went back. Mm. That's when California la pasta, yeah, because pa- Pasta and I had been talking already before he became who he is now. Mm-hmm. We used to send each other projects, mm-hmm. so I called him like Pasta Echo Katlara, please make sure you're there. Um, please make sure Machita Bara, Bumpura, you know, sure, yeah, yeah. And past and I then produced the beat of SOP mm. together. Mm. And I'm like, Acho, enyaka sex. Let me put it, mm-hmm. let me record my saxophone, recorded it. Iwe mama, ya sharp. Then my chita ba ke na, reading him na, ba recorder, so at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I left. And then a week later, the gents called me, but Acho, we adding Ricky Rick on it. That's crazy. It's like, yo. What? No, so I Ricky. Yeah, oh, no, so I was like, <laughs> oh, Ricky. Okay, that's crazy. And then Ricky was on it. Yeah. And then, a global flop. When the song got released, yeah. my name wasn't on it. What? And I just lost it. I was like, you. And what the fuck is this? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then Ricky calls me. Mm. It's like, sure, poison. Like, sure, who's this? I'm <laughs> tricky, dog. Oh, okay, I sure hot money in time. No, I poison, there was a mistake with the releasing. I didn't know that you're on the track, what, what, but we're fixing it, don't worry. I was like, oh, okay, cool, you know? Mm. And then from there, it was just up from there, you know? It was mm. Mm. just it, uphill. Yeah, it was uphill from there. But like, how's Mbura's work process? How was it? Pura, 
But I was an amazing person. Yeah, 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 like yeah. he was always funny. He was always that type of person in studio who lightens up everyone's mood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's always making jokes. Watch I if I like low plum me plum me da cha cha we na mfi tu ganti ni cha venza something. You know, she was that type of person. He just wanted everyone to be happy and feel the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in that squad, you were more closer to Pasta. Yeah. Mm. I knew I knew Pasta and Mzu M before everyone else. Oh. Yeah, I was I knew Pasta like nearly yeah. ring, you know. Mm. And then yeah, after some time then I knew everyone else. Okay. Yeah, that's now, when I met everyone else. Oh, that's dope. That, that's dope. So that move, obviously it had a huge impact in your career, but like yeah. what are the changes that you experienced like at home outside? fame how was that for sure the fame hadn't come yet because a lot of people never sang club they didn't know oh, it's this guy who made these songs you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying um then what changed was i could dm almost any artist and mm. say dog i want to work on something with you that's when i worked with kamon pela Mm-hmm. on what's the song called Pesita it's on her EP in Kulungu I think it's the second track yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's when I worked with her on that track and then I worked with her and Casper on another track it's not out hey I feel it yeah I worked on a track with Casper and Kamu so things just became easier with working with any artist I wanted to work with because now having those two hit songs was like Boma CVR okay no he's dope you know mm-hmm. let's give him an ear so then how did you balance the two worlds here cuz at the same time that is happening and there's Jacqueline <laughs> <laughs> yeah at your next like so I went to a boarding school i never slept like i'd wake up in the morning prepare for school go to school mm-hmm. after school sports and then no oh, sports yeah what soccer Yeah. Shit. Nigeria Latiski back yeah, then, yeah, yeah. back yeah, yeah. then. Uh played for Position. Super Sport midfield. Midfield. Yeah. Oh, I think it was a pass. Yeah, center vele nekele nekele ele skilang hapaya too much to the point where coaches like I'm fit. Get on the field him, I want to go so. Sure. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I played I played sport. Nigeria Latiski I was there to at the drawing at the rugby but at some point I stopped to focus on on the music mm. um you rugby dog oi I, i want to understand the rugby decision how did that one come about ah dog it was the same school so like the main sport was rugby especially when the season it's either you're doing rugby or you're doing hockey mm. and then the summer sport the basketball What else was the basketball, swimming? Mm. I can't remember the rest. Oh, swimming, rowing. Yeah, there were so many more. So you went to a Catherine school. Catholic, Catholic school. Catholic, I yeah, mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. <laughs> Yo. So they like you couldn't date or you, you were dating. What was going on? I was dating. I mean, there girls schools around, so mm-hmm. you have uh, boarding to boarding socials where oh. they you. As the gents, you go to their boarding house, they blow my kipatiana, or they'll come to us, you know, type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So your first love, because for sure you found your first love there, right? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> your people wanna know. They wanna Hi. know. Remember. <laughs> No, it's not Yeah, I <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I Yeah, I don't like it. I see ball in front. I recall. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, but like, cheering from like what I've just heard, I, I feel like you you were a smart kid. Would you say that? Yeah, you were a smart kid, right? Yeah. And then, do you feel like that made you stand out in a way? Um, like 
with regards to like the way you do things Yo, compared the, to the way I do things yeah. like I said I've been I've always been a business minded kid in primary yeah. I asked my mom to teach me how to bake make a bakery go go and I'd walk around where I stay kitty pies go to a garage mm-hmm. sell them sneaking kids I'm like keep keep can I carry bag thing I sell them you know type of thing yeah um so with everything that I do I've I've always thought of it in a way of how can I benefit from this how how can I make money from this mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and I always try to find ways of improving a certain thing let's say DJing okay yeah la la track 1 2 3 but how can i make it a better experience for everyone else how That's can i st- edit yeah how, instruments yeah and how can i stand out from everyone else and that's where i started performing with my saxophone and what not you know <laughs> so yeah i mean it's not it's not a smart thing it's just like I've always been that type of person who wants to be different. I don't like mm-hmm. being like everyone. If everyone is doing a certain thing, I mm-hmm. if everyone cafe mm-hmm. everyone is buying a certain thing, I don't mm-hmm. know, I don't want it anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So no dia pa cafe la khal. Yeah. Oh. Still have my first one, zebra print. Mm-hmm. But everyone was buying. No scotan. Yeah? No scotan. Yeah? No scotan. Kanjan like scotan oh samatala oza nini no i'm asking ini ho re no scotan ho re no scotan yeah yeah you want to ask very can i just go back uh, a lot of us know uh, catholic schools to be very expensive and you say you're not from a, like a wealthy family so like how does did you get there by buzzing and stuff and also just to sorry to ask you a lot of things How do you, did you when you went to the studio the Jersey Disciples studios at the time did you just walk in and like okay I'm going to choose stuff or like was it because you had built something mm-hmm. first because it doesn't seem like a place that anybody can rock it yeah. Yeah. yeah actually that's true um good question it was <laughs> it was via Mzu M He's the one who connected me with the chance. I get 2020 nil na ko ele di covid. Covid yeah. So they went live a lot and I'm so I'm used to chill with Boris, you know. And when they went live, you tell them about fit with this this guy by the name of Namba. Let me check him, bring him to studio. In in, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we connected. Even through Pastor Vele. He was like a cho tonto chiga cat. Catch it. Yeah. So that's how I got there and then Catholic school I had an academic scholarship. Yeah. Said, yeah. Goes back to being smart. Was it chill with the chinyas? Ah man, it's just, it's just hard work, bro. Let me like, tell you the last thing you did because you know the chinyas. Talk. Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. talk, don't you like somehow feel some sort of pressure since like you're not out there? like um in terms of like social media and what not but your name is out there with regards to like the type of songs that you've made mm, mm. so don't you feel like okay i have to maybe get out of my comfort zone and do a certain thing or just be more open about my life and for sure you're not that type of person uh yo sometimes can feel a pressure yeah but I always tell myself that my time will come for me to shine. Do you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Everyone has their time. Some people it takes two years. Some people it takes 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always tell myself, just keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Eventually, you know, it, yeah. the, the light will shine on you. Because, I mean, I've, I've produced some of the biggest tracks ever. Yeah, you have. Today, yeah, bro, you have. people yeah. still go crazy over VSOP, over Lazy, ah, Umlando. So yeah. I've hey. proven to myself I can do it, mm-hmm. but maybe people are just not ready for me. Yes, there are people that know me, but my time will come. Each person has their own time. Do for you feel like shine. you are not ready for them? What, for the... For the people. 
for the people. Yeah. Are you ready for it? I can't say, I don't think, so in life, I believe you mm. can't be ready for something, fully ready, because life is unpredictable. Mm. All you can do is prepare yourself mm. in case mm. it happens. No one was ready for COVID. No one was ready for whatever that may happen mm. in their life. Well, but learned. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you prepare enough that when a situation presents itself to you, you can sort of figure out how to move through it. Through it, no? Yeah. Mm. Ah, okay, cool. Let's go into Mla. Like, how yeah. did you make that beat, dog? Oh. Yo. Poison. I think 31st yes. December. Yeah. 31st December 2021. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we were We were at... Ah uh, man, what's this place called? Central Pair, Zumtuva's gig. It was Zumtuva, me and Tos. And then Tos is like, how much chance? We need to go to studio after he, like, we need to start off there on a high note, yeah. So after that, I went to studio, made a few beats. We didn't sleep, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then I started making the Umlando beat. And then Tos started writing lyrics and rapped on it. Umtuvoyabuya da from Mikishi in Bega Pega. Ay, dog, man. Let's make a celebratory song. Because in piano, there's no celebratory song. You know, a song that you can play for birthdays, weddings, whatever. Okay, cool. We remove those lyrics. We Tos rewrites new ones. He records it. Namplan sends Umland. And then the guy that stays next door. We young bees, a number, who's a long fade yet? Come out, yeah, sure, come on. I join that in. In it. Sure. Liangoma. Liangoma, tell that song. It's your, oh, it's, it's not even done. It's like two minutes. And it's just him singing the chorus. I talk, I'll be a by you. It's your thanks, bro. And then I go back. Uh, we're vibing to the song. Tos mm-hmm. starts dancing, doing different dances and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So after Nyambu say, hey, dog, what is that dance you just did? Which one? The one with the hips, dog. <laughs> oh, let <laughs> <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, two by two. Yeah. I'm fit. Let's make a challenge. What do you mean let's do a challenge? No, I've got an idea. I'm going to record you doing it here, there, there, and there, mm. in the shower, on top of the house, like random places, mm-hmm. you know? And, yeah, I edited it, and I'm like, yeah, here's, this is what I'm talking about. He's like, okay, I shop. It's in your valley, and go record a proper mm-hmm. one. It's okay, shop. A week later, he records it, comes back, he sends it to us. Like, this is what I'm talking about, mm. you know? But we didn't expect it to be as big as it is now. So mm. we posted on social media, uh, you know. Mm. Hey, within a day, we just see people flooding our DMs. <laughs> 500k views. Yo, yo. <laughs> and we're shocked. And now everyone wants the song and the song is not even done. So now we're under pressure to finish the song yo. so we can submit and release. Sure. Uh, we're getting DMs from all these big artists that want to be on the song, like everyone, Joe. Mm-hmm. And now we have to pick. pick. Yeah, how did you pick? Hey, the picking part, yes. The picking is hectic. Hey, it's hectic. You're but you have to, I mean, that's where the business side of things come in. Mm. You have to pick people who are relevant. You have to pick people that uh, the the audience can relate to that mm. love mm. them as well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah. That's why you chose uh, Lady 2. Yeah, everyone loves Lady 2. I could have verse on the song. Yeah, it's cra- sh- everyone's no. verse is crazy, bro. Everyone's yeah. verse is crazy. In fact, the person who surprised me the most was Sinom Sol. I was like, Maranja ya mutuli sol fool. Ma yonke naranja la. Then how did you And he recorded. Him? And it's like, yo, I didn't expect that from him. That is crazy. You know? And it just made me realize also not to put people in boxes. boxes yeah, because yeah, you never know what someone can do. Next. Yeah. Yeah. 
Can I ask, do you think he's another one that's underrated? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's really underrated. He's really underrated. He should be bigger than he is. But I think it also goes with like how he brands himself. Yeah, there are many things yeah. that fall in mm. yeah, but right the, he's a, he's he's amazing. He's mm. amazing. Okay. But like I said, it's that thing of your time will come. Your time will come. Yeah, your time will come where you have to shine. You look at people like Team and Express, he's been there. Yeah, but he's big. He's, yeah, been, he's there. been there. Yeah. But his time is now. He's you now, know, yeah. you know what and I'm he's saying? Killing it, he's yeah. been killing it. That's the thing. Yeah. If you listen to all his old songs, they're amazing. You get young star now. He's so, been there. I'm sorry to disturb you. Like, your earrings are a musical. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, my aunt bought them for me. When was it? On my birthday. I just can't remember which year she bought Aww. them for me. Echo, I'm all about music. Like, yeah, yeah. I should be wearing my. My my chain, saxophone. So who bought this for you? Your girlfriend? No, 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 no. I got it. I went over to Robert Oyada. Robert Oyada. Just ask him. Shall we put up for this one? Yeah. Hi, man. Over to Rita, but you. I know you. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. No, I got it from Blissful Sex. Um. He's the guy who plays the saxophone on that Kelvin Momo song lately. Mm. Yeah, mm. I got it from him. Mm. He gave it to me. It's mm. like a poison take. You know? do, do you feel like you are um, outside? Yeah. Who sang it? Who sang it? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. 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 Do you feel like you're a producer, Tali? Like, for the fact of like how people love you as producers, like other producers love your energy type of thing? Actually, I think it's a thing of I get it from my dad. Like everyone who meets my dad, Bamrata, he's a people's person. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's always giving. He's always accommodating mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. So I'm that type of person. Keep a tarbe sharp before chilling. You know. Yeah. Problem I go feel. I'm not the joy. I'm not. Then I'm happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't like people having weird energies around me. If they let us something to you, let's talk about it. But, Ali, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we being Let's look after each other. Let's let's celebrate each other. You know. So I'm that type of person. So do you feel like? Okay, let me ask you. Like, let me ask it like this. Mm. Do you think? Um, what do you think about three step? That's the first one, right? And are you looking into producing three step? Yeah. Uh, three step into him, but dog, three step is crazy. Yeah. Oh, the songs that have been released, so three step are crazy. Sure. And yeah, I've got a few tracks, so three step. Oh. Mm. Um, we're even creating a genre with these two guys from Val, Interpi and Trat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I produced the song Yes Fela with them on the EP Love Gado. Uh, the available na bashapa three step, step and sure. me I'm more of like skija type of mm-hmm, thing. So mm-hmm. we're trying to combine that to come up with a whole new genre called scafro. Mm-hmm. So it's your piano mixed with your three step. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the chandra di art. Yo yo yo. Yeah, di pa. Yo yo yo. Di pa. And then there's another one that I'm busy. Which one is that one? Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, ask me. It's an idea. Hey, put your sauce. Ah, no, but no, I can't ring. Uh. The problem is that people are going to now think, ah, yeah, we must release it first. So they want to claim oh. it. So I'm like, ah, let me keep quiet. Let me work on it underground. Mm-hmm. You'll hear it when I start releasing other songs. Or, I'm an eight different. It's all cool. Oh, this is what he was talking about. Yeah. So do you think that three step might replace? They are news. Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> it's a South Africa KPI. No. Like, you can't. Three step has always been there. It's just that now people are recognizing it. If you okay. listen to Bo African Roots, Black Motion, some of their songs, oh, damn, and get three step. Oh. Like, like, but now the light is being shone on three step because. Three step, but you can't forget about piano. Piano is too big, bro. Ne? 
Yeah, piano, you can't forget about it. It can't outshine piano. I feel it. Let's go to Love Card because I. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. No way. It's the only way. But yeah, yeah tell me, how, how did that project come about? Please? Love Card. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to try something different because all my other songs are more scoop vibe. Yeah, I was like, really, that, that one is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels I wanted right. I wanted yeah. to do something soulful, mm. um, be vulnerable with my fans, you know, open a part of myself to mm. them, the experiences mm. that I've went through mm. regarding love, you know. Mm. Yeah, just connecting with them on a whole different level. Mm. So that's what it's mostly about. Okay, what experiences? You know, mm-hmm. you you make mistakes or your person makes mistakes mm. or the heartbreak, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah plus Please. one of the pros on yeah. the, my favorite song in the EP. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> that track, yeah, yeah, I know. I, that track. Yeah, I, I can't he's also song. in love. I can't. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, what did I say? Oh, for sure, you should hear me better, right? You, you ain't here for. What, what did I say? No, I don't want to say something. Oh. Ah, he's also. Nah, you ain't zanga We are born. Ah, simie. Yeah, simie. Ah, simie. Yeah, shit, man. Because like when I hear the like the project, it's. I won't lie. Um. It's 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 so refreshing, boys. It's like it's from the everyday thing that yeah, you know. yeah yeah yeah. And also when I listen to your type of music, conti- uh, going back right, mm. this is like okay, can he be like this type of thing? You know. Mm. So what led you to get to that point whereby you decide that okay, you know what, I want to be found. Uh, it goes back to it's that thing I told you. I like being different. Everyone mm. is releasing almost the same thing. Kiss kupu is kupu da. Like, like it's oversaturated yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So mm. someone needs to do something different. You know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's why I was like, "Regan says soulful, mm. but in a different way. Not your usual soulful. Like clap tap, clap tap. Mm-hmm. But I wanted it to be very rhythmic and." You know, mm-hmm. yeah. okay, Huey. Can, can I just ask why do you think like soulful albums of music, like the type of album Love Guy is refreshing? Right? For me, right now, <laughs> I'm not saying this because they're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably it's one of the best projects released this year in South Africa. But I feel like, thank you. I don't know if it's a PR thing or what it is. But I feel like it's not being pushed enough. Enough, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people are not ready. It's like I can give him advice, but he's not ready to hear it or understand it. You know, you can't you can't force a donkey to drink water at the river. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't want, it doesn't want. People will eventually catch on. You look at your song, that's that song, the Soul Matrix song, man. Mina now. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know how long that song was out for before it became famous? Mm. Almost a year, talk. Mm. Yeah, but like yeah, people Almost, I, they weren't ready yeah, for it. Yeah, then. they were not ready because I think people consume music differently. Also. Yeah, it, it's they weren't all ready about the for season, it. Then yeah. you can push as much as you want a song, but mm. maybe people are not ready for it. There's so many songs that different artists have released, big names and. You forget about the song, or you don't even know that that song is there. Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And you only pick it up later. Ah, oh, man, trick it into him. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm. So I wasn't really focused on making it the biggest EP in the whole of South Africa. I just wanted to give my listeners something different. You know, just mm. connecting with them. And if I accomplish that, I'm happy. If it does go gold, platinum, then that's just another win. You yeah, know what I'm and, saying? And, and I like uh, when you mentioned that, like, you want to um, make basically satisfy your listeners type yeah. of thing. Like, when, how did you get to the point? Because producers, most of the time, they make music for themselves. So, like, how did you get to, like, balance, be like, okay, you see now, uh, I'm, like, I want to make music for the people and not for only me. 
I always tell people that DJ, you can't go ulo DJ at a gig and play songs you like. You're mm. there to create a vibe for the people, not you. Mm. You're being paid to create mm. a vibe for the people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So play the songs they like. Who do you think does that? Does what? Like Catalina Pina Foye and Hapayapa. DJs that are not experienced. Yeah. They'll play their own things that they like. I'm not saying don't advertise your music. You can. Yeah. But we can hear it. Play three songs that are well known and then maybe your song A1, mm-hmm. but play half of it and then, you know, just to see the crowd's reaction type of thing or advertising a song that you're going to release to see how people take it in. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, Joe, in the in the industry you just you always have to be making these business decisions or if I really want to become big or mm. become one of the best, am mm. I doing it for me or am I trying to create an experience for people because everything right now is creating experience. Mm. You go to the movies, what are you there for? An experience. experience. Yeah. You go to Gold River City. What are you there for? An experience. You know what I'm Num- saying? Say them what number? Who? <laughs> 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 what are we saying? Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> you know. So it's creating yeah, an experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best way that you can. You yeah, know. That's why, I like I said, besides me being different, playing the saxophone during my set mm. is creating an experience. What, what other do, instruments can you play? Piano, saxophone. Uh, the djembe drums and marimba. Djembe drums? Ooh. Yeah, those African drums, oh. the ones that you... Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we've got a percussionist in the building. He's also our set Chema. design. He's okay. Oh, he's talking to a chef. Oh. oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And bonding, ne? Yeah, I know. Right? For real. Yeah. The, so, I'm going to ask you some, oh, I would say, out of the blue questions, right? Sure. I hope okay. you read. Yeah, they just like out of it's things that you we hardly even imagine. You know? Oh, um, yes. so Boma unprepared speech. Goes yeah, down. Boma unprepared speech. Yeah, <laughs> if you could uh, collaborate with any historical figure, dead or alive, who would it be? Historical figure. Yeah. In general. In general. Anyone dead or alive? Dead or alive? Historical. But like people that have peace, the guys, not yeah, historical. Explain the historical part. Like you, Michael Jackson. I used to love that guy. Yes. Peter. Hey, I used to. I even when I was young, I used to dress like him. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, historical. Yeah. Echo, I don't know. You know, for me, my biggest feature. And it's going to sound weird because it's a whole different genre. Actually, two. Two people. Mm. Two. Number one, Kendrick. Kendrick. I don't know how, but it must happen. Yeah, I don't know how. And then there's this artist, um, FKJ. I don't know if you guys know him. That bro. Like if I could just sit in a room with him and just do something. Ooh. Yeah, I see that one. <laughs> I, yeah, you see that you're making a hit. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't even I don't even wanna make piano. I just wanna vibe out with the pro. Yeah. Okay. See that guy, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you wanna ask? Oh, it's okay. Okay, all right, cool. So, um the other one, the other one, yeah. the other one. Let's see, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah. If your music could be on a soundtrack to any movie or series, right? Which one would it be? And how do you think the sound would complement to the storyline? Let's go to Love God. Love God? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that up. Ah, uh, but to Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Which scene? Uh, any scene, you know, where, you know, Vin Diesel and his hand, <laughs> something, yeah. something, yeah. Okay, which song would you, would 
do you think like the intro EP, the intro the intro the intro would best fit that because the intro is more like jazzy type yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. of vibe atmospherical yeah mm. yeah okay yeah that's an interesting one yeah. that's an interesting one okay <laughs> if you could listen to one song for the rest of your life wh- which one would it be for the rest of my life for the rest of your life just one song just one song yeah one song Um, probably one of my own songs bro i don't know which one but probably my own because yeah. i listen to me almost every day <laughs> so in love with yourself that's cool ah, dog, i don't think there's anyone who loves themselves like me dog. Yo, i mean i love myself yes, yes yo mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. but yeah one song yeah. one yeah just name one you have to name one Okay, let me name something besides me. Um Yo. Mm-hmm. Dog, there's so many dope songs. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But the one that you were like, okay, this one I wouldn't mind. I think I would. I think I would. Uh, let me say Ish. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's very unfair. Yeah, Christian yeah. Joe. Okay. Name, name like three. Three. Ah, uh, okay, you the game. Wow, wow. <laughs> you, uh, you, you is so sweet. Okay, are you? <laughs> yeah. Three. Sing about me. I'm dying of thirst. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you. Always, bro. Ah. Uh, Yo, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, me, I listen to different genres. Like, I listen to offside genres, like... Alternative yeah. music. Yeah, like yeah, music too. from all these other countries. Uh, yeah. No, but name. You can name. Number two? Hey, I'm not as infected. Let's leave it at the one. <laughs> Bye, bye, okay, bye, cool. Bye, 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 bye. Um, yeah, plus you're a smart one. If you could time travel to any music festival or concert in history, which one would it be? Yeah, I'd always go back to... In history, it doesn't have to be too long ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. can be a year ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Strata Nation. Strata Nation address. Yeah. Mm. Why? I the vocalistic did it for me there. Mm. Like that set up the performance was just amazing from the festivals I've been at mm-hmm. or the ones that I've seen through people's videos and what not, mm-hmm. you know. He he just it was different, yeah. you know. He he really gave himself to the crowd. What mm. touching it. Blind. Oh. I'm blind. I'd go back any day. So, Lautic says I got lipa yama fellow. I'll spend it just to go there. Watch on a shop of pili jeans. Hi. Yeah. I feel I feel because I feel he's an amazing performer. You know, he's a he's an amazing performer. Mm. Yeah, you should check like yeah. his crowd interaction is crazy. I've never seen anyone interact with the crowd like that. Ricky? Okay, okay, okay. Ha. Okay, okay, ha. okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. But then I I think I was with Mo, ne? Uh the time when we went to Zone 6. Yeah, and we saw Foka perform. I see yeah. Yeah, he he's good at that. Um Eh kanu kula a topa dai. No, kanu kula topa dai. え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ちょっと、え、ち
Na feel okay. Mm. Uh, let's see, let's see. So you wrote these things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, I'm gonna ask him these questions. <laughs> Yo, yeah. That's crazy. Okay. If you could perform a concert in any unconventional location, like space, underwater, where would it be and why? Yo. Mm. Yeah. space, there's no sound. Underwater. Underwater. Well, not like I'm um, underwater, but like they build a building that is underwater and then they like marine life around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I think such a performance. Yeah, oh. it would look beautiful. Like I said, experience. It's giving Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving Titanic. Ah, experience. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. When, I went, when I went to Dubai, the mall there, mm. literally there's like a fish tank, a huge one, almost like an ocean. It's a huge one and you just see sharks, fish, different, yeah, and it looks so beautiful. So I do something like that inside, but now, you know, it's around us. Yeah. Okay, that could be fun. That's an idea, guys. Eh? That's an yeah, idea. Yeah, but it's expensive, yo. No, obviously. Yes, yes. Obviously. Okay. So, if your music could teleport listeners to any place or time period, where would you take them and why? Yeah, take them to countries like Spain, Italy. Mm-hmm. Um, no. Greece. Mm. Paris would be dope, but Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Santorini, Greece. Okay. Check the view there. It's just... Yeah. Yo, it's amazing. It's breathtaking. Mm. Yeah. If I you see. check out Rick Ross's song, Santorini, Greece, he shot it there. You mm. should see the view there. It's crazy. It's okay. crazy. The buildings, the mountains. Nice. Yeah. Mm. You love, you love a uh, futuristic type of yeah. Changes, ah, yeah. Something different. You can't be doing the same thing. And yeah, my coffee. Yeah, Rashida mm. music video, go pulling. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's it. Who's ah. your favorite up, um, upcoming youngin right now? That's killing it in the youngins. Your favorite. One? My favorite, yeah, Yangy, right now. That's killing it in the city. There's okay, so the next big thing right now, mm-hmm. there's an artist called Scott Mapuma. Scott Mapuma, yeah, yeah. you guys will see, like, he's gonna be huge. Mm-hmm. Um, he is killing it, the leader, like, mm-hmm. people know him here and there. He's not out there fully, but he's going to be someone amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, uh, there's an artist that I'm also working with. Uh, his name is Rode. Mm-hmm. He's also, he's on the intro of Love Gado. The first mm-hmm. voice you hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. him. Yeah, he's also an amazing guy. Mm-hmm. Amazing, amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So between Ulazi and Umlando, which one would you choose? Choose one. Oh, Ulazi? Yeah, and Umlando, yeah. Do I have to give a reason why? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm picking both. Let ah, me tell you why. Ah, <laughs> Let me give you my reasons. Ah, ah, ah. But the reasons are different. Okay, let's hear. Let's hear. Ulazi, because of the way it speaks to people. Mm. You can play it now, yesterday, two years later. People still go crazy over it. I have people... Find out after my performance, they're begging me to play it till today. Mm. And then I um Lando, I um Lando just, it goes crazy, bro. <laughs> even oh. after, even it's the after, same thing. What even, after saying now? <laughs> even after that song, that song did a lot of things for me. Mm. Like a lot of things changed after um Lando. Mm. That's why I'd say um Lando, because it was more personal for me. Mm. Ulaz is more of the, the people, people thing. Yeah. Mm. So, you, yeah. Can I just say, if we add SOP to the mix, hey. is it still 
Iya. Ya, hmm. yang melanda, guys. Ya, yang melanda, We saw the yeah. world with that song, Doc. I might need some guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not fair, Doc. Now, shut up, bro. So, what should we expect next right now? What are you looking forward to? Yo, planning my next Good. EP with um, an amazing producer, Bo YTN. Mm-hmm. He's an upcoming producer as well, so I'm trying to get his name out there. Mm-hmm. He's, oh, he's like he's a man, nice. a producer, everything. Can't box that man in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, so you should expect an EP from him and I. Mm-hmm. You should also expect more content. I'm trying to shoot more content. Um, I'm trying to move away from the dance challenge. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I'm that person who wants to be different. Everyone is doing dance challenges, so now I want to try to do something different, even better. Mm. Tell a story through a short clip, but with all the songs playing, like in a certain scene of that short clip. Mm. Okay, that's a so it builds idea. meaning with the song. You know mm. what I'm saying? If it's speaking about heartbreak. In that specific scene, that song will be playing and I'm going through a heartbreak or something happens and then mm-hmm. you move on to a different scene. Like a storyline, but with the song, so mm-hmm. it makes better sense to mm-hmm. someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I feel it and I feel you, Doc. Yeah. Other than that, gents, do you guys have any questions to ask? No, no nothing. No, okay, no. cool, Doc. No. Otherwise, thanks, man. It's been a nice I time. I appreciate it. Hey, even my hand is sweating because I've been holding the <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm so sorry for Achilles. Oh, I'm so sorry for Achilles. Yeah, I can't say it. I can't say Yeah, no, I can't just say it. No, but shut out, though. Because, like, I online found it. Like, yo, you are nice, boy. Thank like, you, bro. Your music is nice. Like, your musical taste, your producing skills, like, it's... Oh, it's Thank nice, you, please. bro. I nice appreciate nice, it. Please. Can I uh, ask you a question, though? Yeah, yeah, you can I ask me a question. Bro. Yeah, my... I was happy to 16, either. Oh, you're reminding me what you should be doing. Not me, you. Uh, 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 <laughs> you said okay, I okay, ask... you know, you know what, you know what? When the episode premieres, guys, we'll, 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 we'll both go live. And then the people uh, in the comment section, they'll choose. I black people. Yeah. But yeah. you got, like, you, yeah. ask, you ask a black person yeah. something. Ah, no, they always find a way of dodging it. Like, no, simple. Yeah, let the, I cho- let the people I choose. Let the people choose. Let the people choose. I found your car flat, that way. What's my key? Let us find. Yeah, key, yeah, PD. Ah, guys, guys. Okay, or off, or, 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 offline, yeah. Like, once. Uh, I'll be pressured. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shout out to you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it a lot. I know he's a he's a young listener. When I about work, I understand. Ah, um, bona ka dress code. Bona ka dress code. Ah, chum bona ka dress code. When you pop, pop, I'm born. I'm bona ka di. Kili yo yo. Yeah, you see me with exclusive shoes. Those ones dog. Are like, yeah. Aka tama ko chola ko office ntonto. Yeah. Ko hantante. Yeah, the <laughs> shop names. <laughs> yeah, and then awa born or I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, uh, we out. What's popping worldwide, guys? I love you.